Oklahoma State defensive coordinator Jim Knowles, he's like a lot of coaches. He tries to find players who remind him of someone else. Only in Knowles' case, he believes he's an expert at finding their doppelgangers. And he'll bring a player up to the front, put them on the screen, have them stand beside each other, and have everybody decide if they look alike. You know what Knowles looks identical to right now? The Broyles Award winner for this masterful defense. While everybody says, let's simplify, he gets more complicated and tries to make sure that the other quarterback has no idea what's going on. Countless new looks that will be facing Caleb Williams, the young quarterback, and the Oklahoma offense tonight. This defense is absolutely lights out in Stillwater. The corners and the safeties do a good job of uh, playing man, so that leaves a lot of space, a lot of time for their other front seven to get to the quarterback. It's one of the most experienced defenses in the country. They don't make many mistakes. They've made a lot of big plays. You have to execute at a high level to consistently move the ball and score points against these guys. Williams going downtown, touchdown Oklahoma! You have to contain the quarterback. He likes to get out of the pocket, and he's got a strong enough arm to sling it down the field and make a play. Touchdown! Are you kidding me? What a play! He's a home run hitter, and you know, getting after that quarterback is a big part of our defense, and so if we can do that, we'll have a very good shot. If not now, when? With this great defense and some of the issues, but Oklahoma's offense, even with some recent struggles against a better defense, still top 10 in scoring, top five in yards per play, and they get in the red zone and they come through and score touchdowns when they get there, but this will be a major challenge against one of the top defenses in the country. No doubt. And listen, this Oklahoma offense, it, Caleb Williams is there because he can run the football, and, and they can run the football better. It, it's all built around him. Uh, uh, his throwing game, his last couple games have really, really struggled. Um, and, and he's going to be great. He, I, I think it's going to take time, though. So let's take a look at today's more driven players presented by Goodyear. And when you look at Oklahoma's offense, this is an offense. It's built around the run game. It's built around Caleb Williams. It has to be him. He has to run the football effectively. Watch this little shift motion. Gets everybody eyes. We're going to cut the field in half. Look at Caleb Williams. Fake the jet sweep. Look, I'm going to fake the toss. Now I got other things to look at, right? I'm looking like the throw game. Look at the safety staying back. The, the uh, linebacker staying back. Caleb Williams, he's done this time and time again. Big plays, not just 10 to 15 yard runs, 60 yard runs. And then you look at the backfield. Again, you got motion. Look at the linebackers. Now, what we've done is we have misdirection with the B back going one way, H, look at that, halfback going one way, quarterback going the other way. Look at the freeze in the back. You basically cut the defense right in half. Caleb Williams can go one way, running back can go the other way, and then you're going to use his wheels in the throw game. Again, more misdirection. This is a pass. This is a pass run option, the opposite of a run pass option. Fake the run up the gut. You see Caleb Williams, once he gets outside, he's going to tuck the football. It looks like a run. He's not giving this. It looks like it's a run with Caleb Williams. Runs outside. He's going to throw the football. Look at, look at the defense suck up, run straight to play the run game right now. That's how they've got to get the throw game going. It's not traditional. It's not um, what you used to see with Kyler Murray and Baker Mayfield. It's going to be, have to be patchwork, him running the football, and him throwing the football off of his running game. Tell you what, I'm surprised this late in the season, though. We're still looking at the quarterback and trying to figure out what do they have. You know, they start, started off the season with Spencer Rattler. He's supposed to win the Heisman. He got benched. Caleb Williams came in, then he started to play bad against Baylor. It's been like a little carousel of quarterbacks. I want to see if they're able to stick with one quarterback today because there's one thing we know, Oklahoma State's defense is going to put a lot of pressure on Oklahoma's yep. offense. They're going to have to make them make some decisions quickly. Oklahoma State has been hot the last month. They beat the, the opponents by an average of 35 points a game. That's the best in the nation. Oklahoma State's won 7 and 0, make it 8. They beat the Sooners in Stillwater. Hey. Oh, great. Can you take a moment to enjoy How great is it? It's 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 take a moment to enjoy State this. Michigan. So is this, this is, is, this is, is what about. I mean, I'm, this is what it's supposed to be. This is what it looks like. I'm flying the bedlam. I'm calling that game. But I'm going to be a This is. 
That's perfect. scarlet and gray and maize and blue and snow when the yeah, big team can't be trouble on the line. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Just take a moment. Hey, this good good as as be like 1950. <laughs> we had like a yeah. foot of snow in this right. play. There. Hey, hey, hey. Jimmy, Jimmy, let's get to Oklahoma State. Yeah. Defense. Let's see what they got here. Now, Oklahoma State has been incredible all year against the run. Last four weeks, they've been at a different level. They're fourth in the nation. They moved the line of scrimmage. If you're Oklahoma's offensive line, they've been a little inconsistent. They've been better lately. This will be a great matchup in the pit. Look how they push the entire offensive line backwards. Get two and a half, three yards. Lead the nation in tackles for loss. They get you behind the sticks. Lincoln Riley's got to avoid that. The other thing they do is they create pressure. Towards yeah. Malcolm Rodriguez, they use him to just move the offensive line, and now you got two on one. The offensive line moved. Now look, you got open receivers downfield. The question is, can you throw the football, have time to throw? Look at the open receivers against man-to-man. -man. So today, will Caleb Williams have time to try to locate some of those receivers against man on crossing routes? Other thing these DBs do, they're veterans. Locate the football, recognize the eyes looking for the ball. This is experience. This is Jarek Bernard Converse. Does it, the ball's caught, but he doesn't give up on the play. Gets that right hand in there. Nice. The matchup on the outside in this game will be exceptional. And then this is smart, especially with Caleb Williams. Just saw David State use Rodriguez on third down as a spy. He's very athletic, almost like a safety. Utilize his speed. So when 13 takes off, which is a big part of OU's scheme, he's there to try to negate that. Yeah. Run. This is going to be a great matchup tonight in prime time. So much at stake for both the Sooners and the Cowboys. Kirk's going to head down to Stillwater to call that game. Oklahoma State already in the Big 12 championship yeah. game. Oklahoma trying to get. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.